It is the start of a three day epic storm here in Southern California. Torrential downpour, flash flooding. Currently, we've renamed it to the Block Nest, thanks to one of you guys, Didi Fam, being super clever with that wording. Boys have made good use of the Block Nest. In the meantime, they went and got remote controlled boats. And they're currently racing and jumping over each other, having a bit of fun. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> How much fun is it? Oh! Who hit who, huh? I just railed him. You just uh, railed just him? Railed him. Oh, I'm not sure that's good. Oh, someone got beached. These things are hilarious. Catch and release. Catch and release. You guys are hilarious. Oh, oh. All right, I'm gonna let the boys hang out here, have a little bit of fun. I got some real business to attend to. I have my merch supplier and designer sitting in the boardroom they just got here. So let's go and look at some of the new merch that we're gonna be dropping for 2024. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. There is work at some point today. There's right, some work. Right now? No, not right now. We have a huge, huge build that we're working on. The Senna has to go and get the exhaust installed. So we're gonna be dropping that car off and what well, we have a very, very special project for the KB43 car. Don't go anywhere. How are you? Hey, yo. How's it going, dude? What's going on? Have you looked out back? No, let's go. Take us for a tour. A tour, real quick? Yeah. yeah. And then we'll get to what we're doing with skateboard decks and new merch lines and all that. Yes, sir. I'm super excited. The new merch does involve a very special car that is sitting right over here. We're going to make the next collection around the Senna. We're doing a bunch of stuff, to be honest, but yes, that's one, that's that's one, one part of it, yeah. Because we're going to take the cars and put them on the deck. Side profile, top profile, front profile, I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, we'd love to hear them from you because you're the ones that are gonna wanna pick this stuff up. So, and look what came back. Oh shit. All the way from London, England. And it's still broken. I can't make this dude. I spent $20,000, it's still broken. I took it for a drive thinking it was like perfect. And instead of it being like this, I got this. Whoa. The Senna with the new wheels on it. I'm taking this and the new exhaust system for this car. And we're gonna take it to our friends at Yoast and they're gonna do me a solid and immediately start tearing this thing down, which is a scary thought. They have to take the wing off. So this wing, which is all hydraulic and active aero, they have to remove the wing, take the whole back end off, install the exhaust system, put it all back together. They have to do a special calibration to make the wing work again. Actually makes me super nervous. Like this is a very expensive, this is the most expensive car I've ever had. I don't want anything to go wrong. And they have to recalibrate the wing and they said that the sensors of the wing are super finicky. Like you have to be really, really careful they're delicate. But once that's all on, then it'll shoot flames and make lots of noise. How many windscreens are you gonna break? Well, here, here, <laughs> this one here, do you see where it starts right down here? Yeah, they just crack like crazy on this car. I don't know why. Well, it had a faulty defect actually in the glass manufacturer that oh. they first got. So the 720 had the same issue, but they warrantied it. This car's right. out of warranty. Oh. So not only did I buy the world's most expensive hypercar for my budget, it has no warranty. So please buy merch and support us because I can't yeah, afford it. I'm, I'm getting to a point where I'm not sure if I can afford any of this anymore. What do you think? It's cool. I didn't realize you guys got a lake. It was twice as big last night. Holy sh! Oh yeah, and the boys are just like <laughs> being super useful right now. <laughs> that was actually impressive. The big project in today's video after we're done is actually the car right behind this door. This car is actually gonna get the world's first three pedals, manual style rally shifter, oh. but using the DCT transmission from this car. So it's gonna be the world's first street DCT clutch rally shifter handbrake Huracan in the world. Wow, number one. Right. World's first. And I know you guys don't like it when YouTubers say that, but it is the world's first, so you're gonna just have to deal with it. Great meeting. Cool. Good meeting. Fantastic meeting. We're gonna do this 2024, awesome. going big. We have a whole schedule here. Look at this. Look how professional these guys are. Organized. Schedule. That's for them, not for me. We were talking about making a skate deck hey, with our cars on the bottom. This is actually Mark's actual skate deck. He actually rides this thing. I like side profile. You guys let me know in the comments. Any other colorways? I'd love to know your guys' ideas also for additional items like accessories. Like, of course, we do the jet tag. We do a keychain. We do a pin. We'd make DD car models. This year, we're going all chips in. So please comment. What other things would you guys like to see from us? I will make this guy make it. I'll make it his problem. Okay, we're out of here. We have a titanium scent exhaust to put on. Tim, you got the exhaust? I got the exhaust. I got the keys. Is it going in the center? It's obviously titanium. Look how light it is. Tim's is bare pond. 
shit out of that. Yeah, three fingers each side. Three fingers <laughs> aside, that's what she said. <laughs> Yer. Let's put some heat in the center. I need to pop the charger out, put this down, cold start. Like a charm. Now, driving this thing in the rain makes me nervous. Into the storm we go. And to think we're about to do this on our Triple R very summer tires. <laughs> Woo! She looks good. Even dirty. Very, very daily driven esque right now. Putting the miles on this thing. I absolutely love this car. For the record, some people don't think it's the most beautiful car. I agree with that. The most beautiful, definitely not. But it's not ugly looking. That would definitely slice your tire open. We gotta clean this yard up once the storm's gone because there is crap everywhere. I sure do love it with the LM wheels. What's going on with the traffic jam here? What's going on right now? Man, man, the road tire is beautiful, guys. to start and we haven't even left the shop. I'm actually scared. Flooded freeways in the center. This is pretty crazy. Somehow we made it. We made it to Yoke. Road grind. Little passenger. What it looked like going down the road in the right. wet. It looked crazy. The rain light's actually really helpful. Oh yeah, it's bright. Yeah. Special delivery. Tim! Tim! Tim, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, that's a really rare color. Not too many of them. No. I don't. I don't think I've only seen one. Ro Rosalito or something like that? Oh, yeah. red. red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deep red. Here you are. Thank you very much. We're going to leave the center with these guys and their capable hands. It's a very special protocol to actually put the wing back together. I mean, I'm sure we could have took it apart, but we probably would have wrecked something. Manual gearbox before they put the paddle shifters in them. In my opinion, he probably makes some of the nicest looking exhaust systems on planet Earth. If not the nicest, in my opinion. This frosted gold, which you've done before on my stuff. Wow. So that's super cool looking. It's so light too. I know. The downpipes are all actually ceramic and then wrapped and he brands it all. Yeah, that's gonna keep the, the heat in. Damn. That's beautiful. Damn. It's nice stuff, right? Sit upside down? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Have fun with the puzzle. Yeah, we will. Where's the instructions? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got it. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Thank Good. you very much. I'm excited. Of I course. appreciate you. VF Engineering is going to do like just a basic tune to make sure that like it doesn't freak out because it's going to be a completely different system. No engine lights or anything like that. That's what we want. Of course. All right, back to the shop. We're going to tear down the KB43 car and show you what kind of crazy goodies we have planned for that. Cold start. Cold start. Oh, that was sick. Whoa, no brakes. I 
Dude, I blew right past me. Yeah, it's slippery in here, huh? Oh, it's slippery in here. Goes nowhere. Okay, be excited. Why should you be excited? Well, we're gonna ask this guy because I honestly don't know how any of this works, but we're gonna put a gold handbrake into my Huracan. Now listen, our good friend, Sam Hubinet, also an FD champion. Yep. And a current Hollywood stunt driver. If you haven't seen some of our old videos that we've done with Sam, we've done some really cool stuff with him where he's like done 360s down the road into a drift and through a corner and like, he's crazy. Him and his wife, Stina. He actually made, I believe, the world's first Huracan with a handbrake in it. It's a great one. They did a really cool commercial for Newport Beach Lamborghini at their old, old location where they drifted around a lot. It was actually Stina driving, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah Stina was, his wife was driving. They drifted around the lot and all this cool stuff. They made this really cool commercial. Both Sam and myself, when we drove it, were having issues with the car because the car didn't have a clutch pedal. When you pull the handbrake, you need to put the clutch in so that obviously it doesn't bind up or whatever. Disconnects basically the yeah. transmission, frees it up. Yeah, so. so if you were in like any gear other than first gear in that car and you pulled the handbrake, it would knock it right into first gear, Yeah, which is not good. So you could never really get any speed or control outside of first gear, which was a pain. Sam still made it work. He did some really cool stuff with it. What we're gonna do now is actually put a clutch pedal in. Yep. But we're not changing the gearbox. We're keeping the DCT. And I don't know how any of that mambo jumbo works. Hand it over to Mike. Luckily, there's a company called HTG Tuning that now makes controllers for DCT transmissions. So we're able to take this transmission and run two of these gearbox control units, ECUs basically, wire those in and replace the factory transmission control units. Now everything is gonna be controlled by these aftermarket units. And then we're actually gonna put a pedal in for the clutch. Now it's not gonna be a hydraulic pedal. It's it's not going to disconnect a clutch because this car doesn't have a clutch. It actually tells the transmission to go into neutral or to slip the clutches that are inside, like the wet clutches inside of the DCT. It's pretty complex. These guys have done an amazing job making this stuff. And they also have this absolutely stunning carbon fiber sequential shift lever that we're gonna mount in this car. Okay, let's give them a little teaser. Let's give them a little teaser. You hold this, hold this down, right? It's actually it's actually pretty tight. So it like clicks Listen really to this. good. Listen to this. And that's like, that's them trying to hold this thing down. Yeah, it's, it's like it's, uh, it's pretty stiff. So it actually feels like a cable shifted yes. or direct connection sequential it's a beefy shift lever. unit. It is, it's stout, it's billet aluminum and carbon. Like, Gorgeous. It's really nice. Gorgeous. Hey, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta slow down here. Sean's getting a little turned hey, on. Hey, yo. You wanna give it a, give it a little swipe? You wanna, you wanna, wanna, you wanna, you wanna, 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 wanna give my shifter a little tug, Sean? But uh, yeah, this yeah. is going in the Huracan. As far as we know, this is the world's first three pedal DCT handbrake, this style of conversion ever done to a Huracan. Yep. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. Yeah. You guys can correct me in the comments as you always do if, I, if I'm wrong. But world's yeah. first. Yes. <laughs> going down here. Huh. Ah, ah. So what's step one? Step one is trying to figure out where and how to mount this, how to position the e-brake lever. Right? Yeah. It has to be in the right spot. It's not a small job. We're gonna have to tear a lot of the interior out because in the center console, it actually has all the switches and buttons to make the car function. So the start button's there, electronic emergency brakes there, the reverse button's in the center there, media controls, then above the media controls, you have all of the like HVAC system controls. The challenge is that's exactly where we want to put the handles. We basically want to take this panel and kind of like go move it like that. I think like a race car would. Yeah, I think we might actually be able to remove this whole thing. Yes. Move these things out of the way, squeeze these a little tighter and then just tilt it. So it's almost vertical here. Yeah. And then that'll give us enough room here to basically put, put this in here right yeah. in the middle. Like, yeah, because it needs to be near in line yeah. with with that obviously over here a little more. Yeah, that's a play down. <laughs> <laughs> Get that e-brake mounted in the right spot yeah. as well. So you and, have room. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And we can't just run a standard e-brake setup, which is why we only have the handle here. Because just like we did on the 550, because it has four wheel ABS, it's got four different brake lines coming out of the ABS unit going to every corner. So we can't put an inline, one inline master. We have to run dual inline masters. So it means we have to make a whole custom setup to run the dual masters to make it work. So sounds like a lot of work. It's a lot of work. 
Yes. We were thinking that this car, once we start it, it's going to be a two to three week thing. Yeah, I'd say minimum. Like we're going to have to scan things and probably do a lot of 3D printing, build stuff to make this plastic stuff. Accommodate it. And shrink it all and yep. make it work. So we're going to start this now. So this yep. car is not going to be on the street for a little while, but when it's done, it's going to do some stuff that no other car can do. The yes. whole thing I want to do is be a better precision driver. I want to get more proximity with a very high valued car. That's the thing that's exciting in these videos when someone's driving and they're getting close to stuff in a car that's very expensive. So yeah, let's get going. Tear the center console out and see what's going on down here. Holy sh**. <laughs> you know, we can actually walk over to Good luck. The, the Evo 2 and see what it looks like in the center console because most of that is already stripped down. Oh, let's go look. That's a good idea. Damn. Mike's using his big brain today, Sean. <laughs> Sean's ready. Chop out the center console. Damn. I get this guy a machete. And what's he want to do? He wants to hack up the Huracan. Definitely a very deep. Whoa. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Swing that thing around. Because race car. And you can also remove. Uh, hold on. What's going on here? Stand by. There we go. There we go. Tim. Tim. Maybe, maybe I did do that. <laughs> Tim likes food. He hates race cars. Well, man, this is like pretty perfect because we've got this big flat tunnel right here. We'll have to move it a bit farther forward. Obviously, this race car panel comes down. But if we can tilt that other panel up and push it forward, then we'll have a lot of room. We can just mount this right here, offset it slightly to the right, and then have some room for the e-brake to get mounted up here as well. <laughs> That's a good height. Yeah, it's, it's like perfect. Perfect. So steering wheel center line, steering column height, and shift knob should be like yeah. really close. And it's like right Let's just move it up here more. Yep, exactly. Push it forward a bit. Off of this, we can build like a metal panel or something Kay. that goes on there. Maybe a sandwich plate from underneath to spread the load out a little bit. Not for the shifter, but for the handbrake. Mount that here. And we can probably have a push rod so we can put the master cylinders in the back so they're out of the way. Okay. Instead of trying to shove them up here where all the electronics are, we just flip it around. Well, yeah. Well, all right. Let's, so we're just, let's yeah. go tear it down. Yep. So Mike, do you yeah. think while you're at it, you could put a cup holder in? Actually. No, no. <laughs> Actually, you want a cup holder? Can we 3D print it? Because, we can, yeah. can we put a couple cup holders in? Let's do it. Like a Porsche, just put them right here. Very handy though, if you don't have a passenger to hold your cups. All right, so if you guys are watching this video and you know how to take the center console apart, if you could go back in time, give me a call. Let me know how it goes apart. <laughs> All right, well, we found the first two panels. These guys just pop off and then there's some torques in here. So we'll start with that. Get that away from me. Right by Tim's head. Get that away from me. Sean really wants to cut up the Huracan. All right, well that, that it feels like that didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like figuring out the order in, in which they come apart. So you've already used up one of your three lifelines and that is ask the audience. Not, I'm not gonna lie, not a very smart one considering it's a time delayed thing. <laughs> now what we could do is call a friend. Do you want me to call a friend? I feel like just a phone call would take too long because it'd be like, all right, well first there's this little panel on the side that looks kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of triangular shape. And then we're sitting here hunting for it. <laughs> yeah. We could try the internet. We could. Damn, that looks terrible. Holy. There's a lot of pieces in this puzzle. He's breaking parts he's just, off. He's just yeah. pulling on stuff now. But here's the good news. I don't really need any of this stuff. That's what I'm thinking too. Like half this stuff we're just going to cut up anyway. Obviously we want to keep the components that we need, yeah. but like the little plastic surround and stuff is not a big deal. This one we were tearing apart the F12 and we could just throw all the parts from the interior on the ground. Oh, I know. He's get, oh, he's getting aggressive. There we go. All right. You know, that's that's not, ah, anyway. that's sorry, not going back on the car. <laughs> All right, where are the other screws for this thing? Hey. Yo, Mike. Yes. There you go. There you go. I want to break some stuff. Oh, there's lots of screws, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. There might be some. What? What? thing is flexing. Yeah, I know, but it's plastic. Oh. Ow. Oh. oh. Oh, we're good. Stand by. Stand by. Whoa. Never mind. I told everybody I was going to learn how to work on my own cars. This is me learning. I always forget this car used to be red. Got a little, a little, a little red on the chassis. A few little hints sprinkled around it. CD changer. That's actually for the nav. <laughs> VHS. It's a laser disc. Look at the carbon chassis. Pretty cool. The chassis carbon? I feel like that's a lie. Monocoque. They welded the carbon to the aluminum. Liquid metal. T1000. Tim. This is oh, interiors. Yeah. That's how you do it. Bear pawn the out of this thing. It's so when do we get the torch, Mike? <laughs> we'll right? save that for later today. Would be funny, actually, if you just came over, you were and he just cut the wire now. <laughs> 
I've been demoted to lighting guy. <laughs> I don't hold the camera. I don't do anything. I'm just demoted. Craft services. Craft services. Anybody want a water? Only 129 more bolts to go. <laughs> Strip it. That's gone for gone forever. No, it's gone. No, no, no. I'm getting more and more worried. <laughs> Always worried. You can't go through life warning. Oh! That didn't sound good at all. I'm worried now. <laughs> I just ripped the carpet off. I feel like a proper scumbag mechanic now. <laughs> oh, that one broke. Damon is Damon. Yo, I'm working on my own car. What do you guys want? Ah! Mike, you passed me the uh, the drill, the drilly thingy. <laughs> the drill. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call this? That's the impact, impact gun. This is an impact. This is impact. This is impacting me as we speak. <laughs> oh, it's still broke. Again, <laughs> passenger airbag. Oh, there's passenger airbags in this car. Yeah, dog, we got one up here. Oh, 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 still came out. <laughs> it came out even as I stripped it, it came out. Working my magic, Tim. Stop laughing. Now that the interior is destroyed, I have this original idea. Bugatti blue interior. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> got it. Yo, I saw all the clips fly off of that. It didn't break though, it just popped clips. That one's still good. I'm back to light them. I got oh. that one out. Dude, that's, you did better than, I got that out without undoing it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's easy. <laughs> Bro, this is all the screws, it's insane. There's so many screws. This is just the center console. Imagine the whole interior. Oh. That was oh, that's a big one. That was, that was like some solid clicks. Like when you go to the chiropractor and they click your back, <laughs> that was satisfying like that. <laughs> oh, you just turned the car on. All right. Is it? Oh, you turned the car on. The pump died. It wasn't pumping and it was hot as hell. Oh, maybe it overheated? <laughs> hey, look at that. It's actually a pretty cool piece. Yeah. This, like, I, I sometimes the engineering just baffles but me. Mike it's German so this panel right it, you think like it kind of comes out in order but no this panel has a screw that's underneath this panel but this panel also has screws that are underneath there so you got to like jam this panel sideways to get those screws out so that that panel comes out and then there's a screw up here that holds this one in place so now this will come out that screw 139 Sheesh. getting closer that's a lot going on in here just turn it's wigging out. Yeah, disconnect the battery. Oh, oh there we go. You got that? I got it. You got that. I think we might. Oh, well, I think oh. we're free. Oh. Get the wires out of there. So I did have to break some stuff because I think you have to take the entire dashboard out to get to these screws that are underneath here and pointing down to get the panel that's here that blocks the screws that hold this in. So what I did was grab it and rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> and now we got it out. Right. That sounded crazy. <laughs> Comes out. And this guy, Come ready. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. Oh, there's one more screw. It's free. Almost. Carpet's hanging up. Okay. Right, that guy. Oh, let's see. All right. Now we got a tunnel. We've got some we've got some room to work with now. Pull this insulation off. Oh, there's still stuff on it. Yeah, well, that's your job, Tim. You'll clean that up later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that's cool. Now it actually has the exact 
portion the race car has because they start with the stock car. Yeah, so in the race car, that center thing is a yaw sensor to tell like, yeah, traction control stuff. That's not in this car in that position. So we even have even more room to work with. Oh, oh dude, that's dude, it's crazy. It's perfect. That's hard. Dude, that is so good. Hold on, I got one more thing you need. There we go. That's so hard. I'm, I'm me too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Yeah, but I think we can basically make a mount and pivot it off the bottom, have the rod move backwards over here and put the master cylinders in the back. Mm. So they're out of the way. Dude, all I heard was hard rod. <laughs> <laughs> now that we got all these parts out of here, we're going to take each one of these control panels out. They're all separate, just held in by some torque screws. So we'll pull each one out and that way we can scan each one of them, have all those different items line up. It looks like there's not a whole lot of room between here. So these are just gonna kind of have to stay together like they are. This we can move somewhere else. That's a start button. Take this surround off or leave this surround. If we can make it fit somewhere, it could be somewhere else on the dash. It could be further up. It could be on the side. Whatever we have to do to kind of make everything fit. So we've got all of these three things. We've got the parking brake. This controller is not gonna go to the factory gearbox control unit anymore. It's going to go into here. So all of those things are gonna be wired into this. So it's gonna take a bit of time, quite a bit of wiring to figure all this out. What Sean's gonna work on is basically seeing where all these pieces can be repositioned and make a kind of more of a upright flat panel to go in there and 3D print that thing, uh, we'll bolt it all together, make sure everything fits. If it's all good, then we can just get it wrapped with some Alcantara to match the rest of the interior, bolt it in, and it should look really good. So we can cut this. We're gonna cut this right here, right? Yeah, I think I think that's the best bet because we can get this will fit like nice and tight in there. Okay. Cut this and then we build like a 3D printed panel. That straight across? Uh, yeah, like straight across there. Oh, I was I was thinking we we're gonna use a little bit more precision instrument, but do you want it like I, right I, there? I feel like it will go right through it, but it's gonna shatter it. Yeah. No. It's not gonna be a clean cut. Be fine. Well let's hit something else to see what happens. <laughs> the F12 fender. That's a good cut. <laughs> Eddie. We don't need any of these, right? Uh, oh, get it again, get it again. Oh yeah, it did, it did a cut. All right, so we got the shifter position now that we've got the tunnel all cleared out of the way. It looks like we're gonna offset it slightly to the right so we have enough room to mount the e-brake. So I I'll mount it. You mount I can, it? I can mount it. Watch, check this out. Mounted. Look at that, good to go. <laughs> all right, well, Damon's got this, so I'm gonna step out and let him handle it. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, oh. All right, when all right maybe, I'll, maybe I'll stay back. in here and uh, get this done. But first, before we do anything with the e-brake, I'm going to drill some holes and put some rib nuts in here, mount the shifter, and just have Damon jump back in here and make sure it's in the right spot. Right now it's, it's flimsy, you can't really hold it in place. So I'll drill the holes, put the rib nuts, and those are only gonna be temporary. We're gonna make a plate that comes in from the bottom and then another plate on top because we need somewhere to mount the e-brake as well. So we have to basically have a steel plate in here that's gonna be able to uh, have a pin welded to it that's gonna go through here and then also the master cylinders in the back. So by building that little, uh, basically a plate, I can have everything mounted on one unit. That's gonna be the easiest way to do this rather than having a separate thing up here for the e-brake and a separate separate thing back here for the master cylinders. It'll be cleaner and stronger. So I'll mount this thing up and uh, get Damon in the seat and we'll check it out. It's got a lot, that got is a lot of bolts. A quarter of the bolt set went into taking this dash out along with a machete. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of hardware to get that center console. That's a lot up. of hardware. All right, well, there's no going back now. We've uh, drilled holes in the carbon fiber tub of this car. All the other plastic panels and stuff could obviously get replaced, but uh, there are now holes in this car. It's time, sequential shifter, e-brake, clutch pedal, it's going down. So instead of rib nuts, I decided to just put rivets in. They're gonna be a lot easier to take out. Put a six millimeter rib nut in there, we would have to drill a pretty big hole. So I wanted to keep the hole small, basically like a five or six millimeter size, which are the hardware that's gonna go through it. So put rivets in for now. So we're just popping these in place, getting them all lined up. I love this thing. Manual riveting is so old school. This is awesome. <laughs> Technology. In. That's actually pretty solid. That is crazy. Having a sequential shift lever in this car is just like 
It is so odd and so unique, but it's so cool. Now that we have this thing mounted up, we can start drawing up the mount for the e-brake. But before we do that, I wanna get Damon in the seat and have him make sure that it feels the same, that he likes the position. I like to have it to where it's pretty much in line with the steering wheel, so you don't want it farther back, you don't want it farther forward. I think it's the best when you can just reach straight across and grab it and do a shift. It's nice and natural. And then for the e-brake, I like to have that mounted slightly forward, maybe three inches further forward. So as you're driving, you've got your hand on the wheel, you can come across and grab the shifter, and it's not going to be blocked by the e-brake. You don't have to reach around to grab the shifter. It's just not that naturally, you know, knock into this a bunch. So we'll get this mounted up right about there, and I think we're gonna be good to go. Oh man, I'm excited for this. Getting rid of the paddles. Keeping everything else is Lamborghini, but we're just gonna get rid of the paddles, and we're gonna have a full-on rally style. Can I pull on it? Yep. Oh, sweet. Oh, dude. It feels so good, right? <laughs> Come on. Bah, 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 they did bah. a really good job. Oh, it's killer. Making that like shifter that's electronic feel like it has the proper clicks, like you're going through the gears in a gearbox. It's insane. This is sick. Damn. I am so excited. How long is it going to take? Another hour or so? We get this thing fired up? Fired up. Do some burnouts. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. So I'm waiting. Dude, I'm so stoked. Yeah, I'm just waiting for from, uh, from HTG, they're supposed to send me the schematics on how how to wire this all in. Oh, we don't know yet? We don't know yet. So, so far we just taken this apart, we have no idea Which, if it's gonna work. So I just hacked the car up with a machete for- For fun. For fun. Yeah. Welcome to DDE, guys. Now's <laughs> a good time to smash the subscribe button, join the DDE fam. We have so much stuff going on with the new HQ. Hit it, hit it like that. That's the subscribe button right there. Click. Bam, you're in. Bam, you're in the club. Bam, you're in the club. Oh, we got a hater. Plug every damn. <laughs>